a com. <laughs> TDP podcast says, please, quotation marks. <laughs> and with that, we're live. Back of the box. Back of the box. Yeah, throw it on the back of the box. We are live, by the way. We are live. Oh, great. Good. <laughs> I was hoping we would be. <laughs> well, we are. That's usually what podcasts do. They go live. That's not necessarily true, but yeah, up, you're right. How's it going up there? It's warm. It's nice. It's real yeah. warm. Yeah. Well, we British got so much rain in the last two weeks. The Bay Area is no longer considered to be in a drought. I heard like 40% of California is no longer considered to be in a drought. That's really cool, though, for you guys. That's really good. Nah, well, like, I, yeah, really, they needed I it. really liked it when it was nice and dry. I hate the rain. I really liked it that when you were in the middle of the drought, you did that um, ALS challenge, the water bucket oh, challenge. Right. Yeah, that was like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, and apparently it was like a five-year drought or something crazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, the whole state is not out of it yet, and I doubt it will be, but just the Bay Area is fine. And as far as I'm concerned, we've had enough water. Please stop. It's raining way too much. Oh, you never get enough water. And top that all off, yeah. someone stole my umbrella yesterday. Dope. All right. Yeah. You really are living so in the Bay great. Area. So that was great. You've had your bike stolen, right? Oh, yeah, multiple times. Yeah, like, apparently in the Bay Area, that's just a thing. If you have a bike, it's going to get stolen. Oh, yeah. Bikes that's really... All the time. It's kind of funny. Like, it's really funny Even to me that that's like just a thing. Even if it's, like, day out, middle of the street, people will just watch a bike get stolen. How do you feel about this bike lock that a uh, company is trying to do, where when you cut into it, it sprays you with a horrendous liquid that just, like, is the worst is smell it like, ever. Is it like blue paint? No, like, no, no. Uh, it's supposed it to make you feel so sick that you puke instantly from smelling it, and you can't get it off. How do you feel Doesn't about that this? make the bike useless then, though? Because it's all over the bike? Like, I mean, maybe. That, but, then I, but then I still have my bike. That's the trade-off, is I lose my bike or someone vomits on my bike. It's just now, ever touching it or getting near it makes you want to vomit. At least it's metal, so you could clean it. Like, I think it's your skin I'd be more true. worried about. <laughs> Where, oh god, you, it's just soaking in. You must be able to get it off your skin, like oh, tomato I'm sure. bath or whatever I'm sure. the skunk thing is. Yeah, but. I think it's actually called, like, skunk lock. Let me see if I can find something about it, but... Yeah, I was hearing about it, and... That's weird. It is called Skunk Lock. It's on Indiegogo. The lock that fights back. So, <laughs> yeah. There you go. What a tagline. What a tagline. Um, I guess that's an okay idea. Uh, my counter is I now have just two locks. So, okay. um, at least it takes them twice as long to try right. and get th through something. You're just going for, like, <laughs> the, the attrition battle? <laughs> where I'll just yep. put five locks on here. Go. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, I've had people just take the bike. I've had people get through a, uh, like a locked fence, like a gated community and take apart most of my bike <laughs> and then leave pieces of it for me. Wow. Uh, All I've right. also had the, the bike lock. You weren't able to get any of the frame locked to it. So I locked the wheel to it. Someone came and snipped a bunch of the spokes. Uh, they didn't okay. get the bike though. I guess someone came by and scared them off. But I, when I came out to my bike, I had to like walk that to a shop. So, that that's real yeah. shitty. Yeah, about once a year, something shitty happens to my bike. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good to know. At least it's not a car, I guess, right? Yeah. Oh, for sure, that would definitely suck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, on that happy note, this is the top down perspective. <laughs> <laughs> uh thank god we've talked about things being stolen yep tomorrow's the big inauguration I, day I, I, excited. I actually don't want to think about it like <laughs> i'm streaming i bet videos. there's so many people that feel the exact same way paul um are you one of them yeah I mean, he, he is living there, so sure, I could see it. That's true. He's got the worst out of the three of us. Yeah. I have an easy way out if I need to escape. Um, or they could just force me out. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I mean, they might. <laughs> yep. So. Yep, we'll see how long I can stay here. Uh, January oh. 19th, 
Sean Booker, Paul Fleck, John Wheeler were all here. Yo. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Paul, what have you been playing? I've been playing nothing. That's not actually That's true. There's just nothing. Game. There's nothing worth talking about right now. I've been um, okay. biding my time slowly for games to start coming out. Starting next week is Resident Evil 7. Then Horizon right. comes out like in a month or so, a few weeks. I'm looking forward really to that. that yeah, it's in, okay. it's in February sometime. Then, of course, Zelda. I was looking recently, and there was like nothing coming out I was interested in, but maybe I overlooked Horizon. I'm really interested in Horizon. Uh, like yeah, right, me too. Uh, right now has just been biding my time. I've been playing old ass games. I've been like, I played Ridge Racer Unbounded for like 20 minutes for some reason randomly. I've just been kind of jumping around. Nothing really stuck. That's a 360 out. one. Probably it was on sale on a Humble sale. Right. Oh, oh okay. by the way, Humble's doing a sale right now, and it was like a buck sixty or something. So I bought it and played it for a while. Just been kind of trying to fill my time until games I really care about come out, so nothing new. I'm not talking about Amy again, Shaolin Monk. We're not doing this. <laughs> oh, Gravity Rush 2 comes out tomorrow. Yeah, so does Dragon Quest that's... 8 for 3DS. Something else is supposed to come out too, I forget. Um, I mean, games are going to start coming out for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to see when the next actual game I'm interested in is coming out, and... Persona 5. Yeah, Fire Emblem Heroes comes to Android. February 2nd, <laughs> yeah. It's like the closest one. Uh, Halo Wars 2 comes out one month from t last Tuesday. Oh, it was February? I thought it was January. It was coming out for some reason. Halo? No, February 17th. Oh, that's right. Okay. Mass Effect Andromeda is coming out in a couple months. That's yeah. March. Yeah, exactly. What I'm saying is that things are going to start coming out. They just haven't yet that I care about. What I'm saying is it's backlog time right now. Yeah, no, for sure. But instead of doing backlog, I'm just playing silly games that I've played before every now and then. Okay. So, yeah, nothing worth okay. talking about. All right, John. All right. Uh, I was sick uh, since I got back from MagFest, so I actually ended up playing a bunch of games. Yeah, you did. Yay! So starting with Wild Guns Reloaded. This is on the PS4. This is a uh, update re-release of Wild Guns, which was a uh, a Cabal-style shooter on the Super Nintendo. That's a really good so, game, too. Yeah. So I don't know if you've ever seen this game before, Sean. Nope. Basically, your, your character's on the foreground, and then you have a cursor you move around, and that's how you shoot everyone in the background. But everyone in the background is shooting at you, so you have to move around to move your cursor. But when you're firing, you stand in place. So you have to balance okay. aiming and shooting at characters while also dodging on the foreground. Okay. It's really hard, but it's really fun. So uh, the new the new game, Wild Guns Reloaded, adds two new characters. Uh, I believe a new stage or two. Adds four-player multiplayer instead of the two-player <sighs> multiplayer on the Super Nintendo. Oh, really? That's dope. Dude, it's, it's oh real good. Oh, my God. Okay. Next time, next time you're over, we got to play. It's good. Oh, for sure. <laughs> God damn it, that's real cool. Except there's no online multiplayer. Oh good. <laughs> that's, where, that's where that's where they failed. The okay, good to know yeah. that they failed somewhere. I, sure. I know. I know. I'm yeah. not shocked, but it, it I mean the, that game yeah, though, like if there was any weird sync or delay issues, would be infuriating to play with somebody. Yeah, it's all about like split second dodging, which I'm assuming is why they didn't bother putting multiplayer online multiplayer in. Yeah, I guess it's one of those things that if you can't do it, like, perfectly, probably worth just not even doing at all. Yeah. The two new characters they added are really different from the original two. So, the original two characters, Clint and Annie, they play the same. You move, shoot, etc., etc. Uh, they added a dog with a robot. <coughs> and okay. uh, the robot is runs around shooting things, and then you can just dodge as the dog. Okay. Uh, and then they added uh, a woman who throws grenades... And has jet boots, but she, otherwise she walks really slow. She dodges incredibly fast and does lots of damage, but she's really slow otherwise. This sounds great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, right. they're really good additions. She's really hard to use compared to the other guys because they can dodge a lot better. But the amount of damage she does makes up for it, so. Yeah, that's cool. This sounds real cool. Yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, a little hard to find copies because it's a Natsume release. Uh, I had to order mine from a website. I can't remember what it was. You can probably get it off of Amazon. I have never seen it in stores except for like Video Game Trader, like the local store here. 
But oh, really? if you can find it, highly recommend it. Good game. Yeah, I haven't seen it at EB, but uh, Jeff got a bunch of copies in. I know that much because I saw people posting in the group that he had them. Can, yeah, you could probably download it. Isn't like every PS4 game also for, available for download? I, I'd imagine there's a downloadable version. I'm just saying this is what I've seen for physical. Okay. I didn't gotcha. look on the store to see if you could just buy it, but I'm sure you can. Out of curiosity, how much does it sell for? Uh, I believe I paid 40 Canadian, which would be it might, 30. It might okay. even be cheaper American um, uh, downloader. Possibly. Probably. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll look it up okay. while we're talking about that. So it's kind of between like just a, like a PSN game and like a full release. It's kind of a cheaper title. That's just cool. saying it's kind of yeah. like The Witness. Sure. Yes, completely. Yeah, it, it, it's yeah. forty bucks Canadian on the on the PlayStation Store, so it's okay. probably okay. full normal price, thirty bucks US, I'd imagine. That's oh, a good cool. game. Highly recommend it. Just as good as the SNES one, but a lot cheaper to buy than the SNES one because the SNES one's like two hundred bucks now. Hmm. You have the SNES uh, one, right? I, yeah. Yeah. Like, cart's a little finicky, but I, it does work. Right. Uh, I also played a little bit of Final Fantasy fifteen. Finally. Yeah. Nice. Let's talk about Final Fantasy fifteen. That's an interesting game. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Okay. How much uh, did you play? Not too much. Just I, I, I messed around a bit, did some side quests, and just kind of ran around a bit. Uh, I, I think the best part so far is the uh, like the camaraderie between the four characters. It seems like that's going to be sure. the best part of the game. Yep. And I have sure. heard like likewise. Yep. But uh, I kind of like how free flowing it is. Just the combat's a little weird to get used to, but not too bad. Yeah, it's just so different, that yeah. combat. Yeah, but once you get a it's hang of it... It's very not Final Fantasy, yeah. Once you get the hang of it, it's uh, it feels like a better handling, like, arcade monster hunter, which is really kind of nice. It's kind of cool. But, mm. yeah, I was going to ask you, how did you feel about the whole, like, this Final Fantasy really isn't, like, a Final Fantasy and feel, basically, at all? I like that they're doing something modern-ish. Yeah. Like, that was one of the things I liked about the settings of, like, 7 and 8, is that they were more modern. Mm hmm So, I'm cool with that. Uh, I like the camaraderie with the characters. I don't like Prompto. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I just I just want to punch him, like, all the time. I, but like, I think maybe the he, way his character's written. Maybe he grows on you. I don't know. I didn't have that I, much I of a problem. <laughs> but, sure, I don't that's know. fair. So far, so far, I'm like it. I'm definitely going to play more in the future. How does this make you feel about... Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake coming out because it got me excited just knowing that this combat system is going to be like happening more probably and maybe refined. Refined? I think it'll be great. Sure. Especially for seven. Yeah. My biggest problem with the combat in Final Fantasy XV is the jumping around is badass as all hell and like feels really good. But I think if it was on PC with, like, a mouse where I could control better where I'm looking and aiming mm -hmm. that, like, jump around, I think it would be even better. I think it's maybe a little bit... It's very fast flow combat for, like, kind of a slow way to do it with, like, the sticks. It feels like it would be more twitchy, like it would be a little bit better. But maybe that's just me. You Is this game not on PC? No. No. Okay. All right. PS4 and Xbox One only right now. There's yeah. talks about it coming there in the future, but... Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're uh, liking that, it. Uh, other than that, I played a game that came out on Tuesday, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Mega Battle. This is a Castle Crashers-style beat-em-up starring the Power Rangers. That sounds good. Uh, it's themed after the original series. Uh, like, the first two seasons, you fight Rita and Lord Zed. Nice. Uh, okay. And a bunch of monsters they send out. Uh, no online multiplayer again. Of course. Yeah, which kind of bums me out on that one. Castle Crashers uh, had online multiplayer. Yeah, Castle Crashers <laughs> is probably the best one in that genre. I would have said Scott Pilgrim. There's no Castle Crashers 2. I am too. Like, but I mean, like, they're, so still, well they're still working them. on Pit People. Like, Pit People just went into early access this week. Yeah, no, no, I know. But I'm just surprised. Like, that thing made them so much money. Hmm. I mean, I, they just want to try a different... <laughs> genres of games because like each game they've yep. done so far has been vastly different mm -hmm. yep yep yeah mega battle you get to choose between uh the original five rangers and then you unlock tommy through the the green ranger through there nice. uh, if you bought it early enough you got a dlc pack which unlocked white ranger tommy and uh the other rangers rocky adam Aisha, 
and Kimberly or and uh, Cat. They're just reskins. That's all. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, buggy, as well. Oh, really? Weirdly buggy. Hmm. Yeah, Hang like on. I uh, PS4. Okay. Apparently, it's also on Xbox One, and I saw something about it being on Windows, but I didn't see it advertised on Steam. Uh, well, if it's advertised on Windows, it's probably on the Windows Store. I like I just saw uh, on when I was looking earlier today discussing what games came out this year that I had played. Gotcha. That was one of them, and that's why I said Windows. Gotcha. Uh, like I beat the game at level max, and by beating the game, it sent me back to level six for my character. Okay. But levels don't matter for progress, so it's not the biggest deal. It's just weird that it happened. Okay. Because leveling up gives you tokens, and you use the tokens to buy upgrades. And I had already bought all the upgrades, so I guess either I have extra tokens or I don't know. It's weird. All right. Is this? Is, do you like this game? Uh, I've already beaten it. It was short. It's, yes. It's six, I I'm so middling torn. I feel like I would have got more out of it if it was if I had played with more people, not just myself. Right. Like uh, was it designed standard for that genre? It was it designed yeah. with that like more in mind then? It felt like it felt like yeah. I kept fighting groups of enemies that was designed for having four players. Right. Okay. So it didn't scale accordingly, which wasn't a big deal. I didn't die too often. There were points where I died, but otherwise it was like it, this feels okay. It's just like it does the big cardinal sin that I hate about beat em ups. It had bosses and certain enemies have invulnerability, and you can't tell when they have it or not. Yeah, it okay. makes no sense that they're invulnerable at times. So it, it's I hate when they do that. Mm -hmm. And just like a bunch of the bosses just take forever to kill because of that. Like uh, the Lord Zed fights. He uh, he has to do like three different attacks before you can actually attack him, and the attacks take about twenty five to thirty seconds to finish. Hmm. So like you wait thirty seconds, you get two to three hits in, he starts again, and you just keep doing that. And like the attacks you get in will take about from this uh, this size health meter about this much. <laughs> so it just takes forever. Um, the, the thing chat that says Power Rangers is still coming to PC. No. Uh, date announced yet. Okay, yeah, that would explain it then. Yeah, because I didn't see it on Steam just then. Gotcha. Uh, cool. Yeah, that thing needs online multiplayer. Um, also, the Megazord fights really bummed me out. Every time a monster gets big, uh, you transform the Megazord into tank mode, and then you just shoot at targets on its body Wait, like what? a Flash mini game. No, that's not how you okay. do that. <laughs> Okay. I, I know, I know. So you do that, and then you switch to normal Megazord mode, okay. which is just quick time events. Oh, that's even worse, actually. Are they, Everything, like, awesome anime cutscenes, at least? They, they look cool. Uh, the, anime, the art style for the game is a little weird. I think it's based off the comics. But uh, it's actually, like, the Megazord looks really cool when it's fighting. It's a shame that all you're doing is tapping quick time buttons. Like, you Man. don't even move. It's literally, like, there's a meter on screen, and it's just, like, when the meter starts moving, you press what's on screen, and then it's like, oh, you've you've typed in enough. Here's a cool move. Uh-oh, he's clashing your attack. Mash the button faster than him. Oh, you did it. Cool. You've done the damage. Like, I never got hurt during any of the Megazord portions. Man. I mean, I am I can be a fan of quick time events if cool stuff's happening. Uh, you know. I, uh, yeah, but they, like it was cool the first time. I was like, man, I'd rather be controlling the Megazord, That's, but yeah. this looks cool. But then after doing it, like, five more times, like, no. All they and had then to... you unlock a bo... mm -hmm. you unlock a boss rush mode at the end of the game, and you can do the Megazord modes again in a boss rush, and it doesn't even save your fastest time, so it's really pointless. What? Okay. Nice. It's just for the it hell of it, then. You, but it times you, but it, as far as I know, it didn't save my fastest time. Weird. Anyone here excited for that Power Rangers movie coming? Yeah. They had a new trailer come out today. It looked all right. Yeah, I didn't get to see it. Yet. I didn't know there was a trailer. Yeah. yeah, there's a new trailer today. Okay. You can like you can hear and see uh, Zordon. Who's playing him again? Dude from Breaking Bad. Yeah, Brian Cranston. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, Brian Cranston. And you can see and hear Alpha in it. Are you guys excited? Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna watch it in theaters, but I'll probably give it a watch at some point. Okay. 
I think it'll be. Is cool. it just the regular Megazord, or do you also do the Dragon Zord and stuff? Uh, I didn't play as the Green Ranger, so I don't know if if I'm the Green Ranger, it changes. Like when it was in the fights, it said Dino Megazord up in the top left, so that would lead me to believe mm-hmm. maybe Dragon Zord does something different. But no, it was it was always uh, regular Megazord. There's clearly so much about Power Rangers I have forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I'm I'm picking up on half of these references. The the plot was a little interesting. It was like a slight rewrite of the Power Rangers plot. Uh, Angel Grove gets blown the fuck up. Okay. Yeah, the whole point is like uh, a ship crashes and uh, Kimberly grabs this weird gem. And in the process... Uh, putties start attacking so zordon teleports them up gives them the power morphers they become power rangers yeah. they run around town beating up stuff but then all these towers start appearing around angel grove and uh rita's sending monsters after them you start destroying the towers and then lord zed shows up and kicks the crap out of you and is like all right well i was gonna just i could have picked any city to blow up but since you guys stole this gem i'm just gonna blow up angel grove so like the last stage of the game is like a ruined angel grove. You're running through the other stages you did, but they're all like completely destroyed and they're like full of monsters and stuff like that. Why did Lord Zed have worse putties? Why did he put a self-destruct button on their chest? I forgot about that. In this game, they're stronger. So they that makes sense. Hits. Yeah, that makes way yeah, more sense. They're wearing armor with the giant Z on it. but Yeah, but like why did Zed in the show put a, a like insta kill feature on his enemies i like how long it took them to figure it out too didn't it take like a couple episodes <laughs> of the range like oh let's just hit him on this giant target okay. yeah yeah i don't know it's fucking stupid <laughs> so fucking stupid but uh, this... maverick, maverick hunter rita rita's in like the first two to three stages and then zed takes over because it's supposed to be like the first two seasons of power rangers basically this game sounds kind of like a disappointment because all they had to do was remake the SNES Power Rangers game like for this day and age with multiplayer and it would have been perfect. I mean, I'm sure it's probably cool with multiple players. Sure. But like between, between like the the invincibility for characters no online multiplayer and um uh, it just being like kind of a buggy mess at times. These like, are all uh, problems. <laughs> This is another thing I didn't mention. Randomly, when you're fighting, you'll just stop moving. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Maybe you're tired. <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, there, there is a stamina meter, but it's for using, like, your power weapon, like, your, your lance, your sword, what, the bow, whatever. Like, I would, like, attack, and then, like, I'd be, like, holding to the right, and he would just stand there for, like, a, two seconds, and, like, oh, wait, no, you wanted to move? Okay. What? So it drops inputs? Yeah, it's weird. I don't understand. Okay. It feels like they didn't QA test it enough. That's really just got rushed hmm. out. They probably did. Probably. <laughs> then explain. Uh, then explain Cat from season three if it's based on the first two seasons. Uh, that's easy. Uh, it's DLC. Yeah, I mean, he literally said at the very beginning that this is just extra content you can get. They're just yeah, skins, it's just right? Skin DLC. Yeah. So the, like, li- like all the other Rangers are reskinned to other the other actors that took their spots. Except for Billy, which gives you the version where he didn't wear glasses. Oh, man. It's like, you have normal Billy, and then your DLC is cool Billy. Fucking hate cool Billy. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's, like, only get it if you're going to be having multiple friends over to play it. How much is this? Uh, I saw it for 15 on Xbox. For some reason, it was 20 on PlayStation Network, but it also came awesome. with that DLC, with the reskin DLC. Oh, okay. So it's like Apparently, a- the reskin DLC was supposed to be a pre-order bonus, which I didn't realize there were pre-orders for this digital game. You can pre-order digital games. That's a thing. Yeah, but I didn't realize that was a thing they were doing. I never heard anything about it, and I was excited for this game. Okay. Is this the best game you've played that has come out in 2017? It is technically the only game I've played it that came out this year. So yes, so that's a yes. <laughs> by pr- by process of elimination, yes. That's okay. My best game is hidden. My game by mom too. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a bad game. That's I'm a just game. I'm just saying. At least his is like a game, basically, not just like a hunt and peck thing touching the screen. Everywhere. My game by mom too is great. Like. 
yeah, I'm not going to sit fine. here and listen to you shit talk hidden in my game by mom. <laughs> Funny, because it sounds like you just did. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, I didn't hear you. Nope. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, John actually has games to go through. Let's keep moving on. <laughs> Alright, yeah, like I said, I actually played games. Uh, I did... I finished Pacross 3D round 2. Okay, oh, Okay. Nice. Took a while, but finally got it done. So now I'm working on Pacross E7, which is almost done as well. Yeah. That's just more Pacross. That's pretty much all it is. Sure. Uh, so, uh, this year I also started a new initiative for streaming. I started what I'm, I'm calling the 52 and 52. I want to like, beat... Like with books. What? Like people do with books. Yeah, but I'm doing it for clearing games. Okay. I want to beat 52 games uh, on stream this year, so one a week. But okay. since I have this bad habit of and being... they're all going to be Final Fantasy titles. Oh, no. That's really it. Done it. <laughs> God, no. Uh, 52 yeah, hours, 52 games, 52 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that is screwed. doable. Uh, I, so last night I ended up streaming a bunch of games. We actually beat four games on stream last night. So, so does almost that, does five. Does that count as four, like your head now? Yeah, I'm technically ahead right now. I mean, okay. he has like to do it months. that way because of con is season there, and hang stuff. Hang on, is there like a, at least like a minimum to how long a game needs to be? No. Okay. I just have, I just have to own it and it's gotta be my backlog right now. Yo, that's totally I, fine. You're clearing your backlog out. It still counts. Do you have to do you have to yeah. start from the beginning or can you just like pick up a game that you like half beat like three years ago? Um I might just start from the beginning. If it's something I played years ago, I might not even remember what the hell's going on. I might just right. restart anyways. Okay. So I picked like uh I think the last night I started with Batman for the Game Boy. It was a tie-in game to the movie. Yeah. The Tim Burton movie. But for some reason Batman has a gun. And Okay. You just run around shooting people. I and think then... I, no. I saw that. I saw that one in theaters. That was called uh, Dark Knight <laughs> Rises. <laughs> no, no. Sorry, I'm mixing that up. Sorry, that was uh, Batman, Batman v Superman. v Superman. That's what I'm That's talking about. That's exactly what Batman it was. V Superman. Yeah, there's only two bosses in the whole game. Uh, the non Joker, Joker, and the Joker. Right. Nice. And I guess like there's at one point like you get in the Batwing and shoot a bunch of helicopters. Okay. It was it was fun. It was surprisingly fun for what it was. Uh, I think next time I might try to beat the the NES Batman, the super hard one. What happens if you do it? What happens if you do fifty two games? I, then I've accomplished my goal, and then I'm like, oh, if, depending on how much time I have left in the year, maybe I'll up the number, see what I can do. Okay, cool. Uh, after that, we beat Garfield Caught in the Act. It was a game I that won a fortune cookie stream a while ago. Okay, and it seemed short and easy, so I'm like, all right, I might as well finish it. It took it 20 up, hours. <laughs> it was the longest game I've ever played. <laughs> Longer than Skyrim. Yep. Uh, Garfield breaks the TV, so he puts it together, but he leaves out a bunch of parts, and in the process creates a giant monster called Mr. Glitch that zaps him into the TV. So now he has to play through all these worlds that are based on TV shows or movies. and oh, then it's like, it's like that episode of Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, or Gag. Like, mixes or together like with uh, Jimmy Neutron. This is a great premise, by the way. I really like this premise. <laughs> His premise or the actual Garfield premise? The Garfield premise. They're the same ones. Sure. The exact same. <laughs> that, that yeah, I mean, it's the same premise, yeah, but... Uh, so, you have to go through, uh, like, uh, Dracula, or as they call it, Count Slobula's castle. Okay. You have to go okay. through... Uh... Oh, God, what was the second world? Is that... Oh, the pirate. It was a pirate world. Catbeard. Okay. Orange beard, one of the two. Uh, then okay. you have to go through 3 million BC as a saber tooth cat and fight right. a dinosaur that's Odie. So, wait, is Garfield changing every time or is yeah. this the scene? He, he slightly changes. Like, it, he's uh, he has like a torch and he's throwing skulls in, in the Dracula stage. In the pirate stage, he's wearing a pirate hat and he's swinging a wooden sword and throwing. Everyone's bombs. saying orange beard, which would make more sense. Yeah. You know, black beard and all that. Okay. Uh, does, does he just keep like shouting like I hate Mondays? Like does he no. just have catchphrases that he shouts? He doesn't say anything. The only thing he does that's close to a catchphrase is he does that weird dance he used to do on the on the fence. Okay. So there's no okay. Bill Murray whatsoever. No. This that's is so well, disappointing. This is from like '92. This is from, this like would have been like the Garfield and Friends era. Does he eat lasagna to regain health? Believe it or not, no. 
What? There's no lasagna in the whole game. This is this the isn't a real game. Thing, the is, well, thing it's a real lasagna. game. It's just not Garfield. Right. It's just orange cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the closest thing to lasagna in the game is in one of the three million BC stages. There's like strands of noodles. And like melted cheese in the background and on the stage. Uh, That's the closest thing to lasagna in the whole game. Noodles, strands, and cheese ain't no lasagna. And, and pieces of pizza. Okay. I mean, I applaud his choices in cuisine. However, it's not Garfield. He eats yeah. lasagna and hates Mondays. The only two things also, about him. <laughs> <laughs> but like for real, Garfield and Friends is awesome. That show is so yeah, good. It is. Yeah, it was a good show. Mm hmm. Did those characters okay, from the farm show, show even show up in any games? Like, Garfield has a lot of video games. That's true, and he has a lot of friends. Um, They're probably in, like, know. Garfield kart racing game or something. Probably. Yeah, I could see that. Well, there is one wasn't, of those, wasn't one of, wasn't one of the... Um, the bird in the shell, wasn't it Booker? Wasn't that its name? That sounds Sheldon. right. Sheldon. Oh, Sheldon. I thought Booker, there was one think, called Booker. Booker, was, I think it was the bird with the the uh, inflatable tube around him. The, the duck? No way. That's your. I don't believe you. I'm gonna look it up. I'm curious now. Yeah, I'm looking it up too. Me too. Um, fucking Garfield, man. <laughs> I'm trying to find. I know there was something called Booker. Okay, Booker, uh, a, a small farm. human sort of chick who was constantly in pursuit of unnamed worms. Got his name from Orson's love of books. Okay, so Sheldon, it was just the Sheldon, other Sheldon, chick. Booker's twin brother who, despite having hatched, still lives in his egg. Yep. Okay, so you were thinking of Wade. Okay, yeah, you're right. Which would make sense, Wade, with the yeah. inflatable tube. Yep. Yeah. I knew there was a Booker. Okay. Nice. That shows uh, so good. Yeah. You also go through Catsablanca and Cleo, the Curse of Cleopatra, and then you just fight the <laughs> boss by good. making him shoot himself. So they call it Cleopatra, but there's still no lasagna jokes. Yes. Okay. Like, that's the perfect opportunity. But okay. Uh, we also played... I've already forgotten. Is uh, Odie in them? Does Odie show up? Does uh, make a Odie is the boss in, like, most of the stages. Right. Oh, he's the bad Makes guy? Sense. Yeah. He, what about Nermal? Slobula... He's clown. No, it no should normal. be normal. <laughs> no normal at all. What? Yeah. Is John at least there? The only appearance of John is in the mini game. There's like a bonus game where you play whack a mole. His head shows up there, and okay. in the uh, in the Cleopatra stage, the final boss is a uh, like a a giant statue of him as like a pharaoh, along with two Odies. Okay. Weird. All right. Well, Garfield uh, minus Garfield. That's a great web comic. Yeah, it's always it is. good. Yep. Always funny. Yep. Uh, I also played Fisher Price Perfect Fit because oh, I good. knew it would be very fast to beat. It was like ten minutes long. So yeah. you're actually finding the the f easiest games to beat. Well, no, that well that one was. Okay. But uh, the other ones were just like Batman was a coincidence. I didn't know how long it was. Okay. And Garfield, I had a feeling was gonna take was gonna be easy because like keep in mind it's this is already the third week of 2017. Yeah. I had to like had to catch up, up for missing two weeks. Yeah. Oh, so you're only one week ahead now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we did that, and then uh, we originally were going to play uh, Darkwing Duck for the Game Boy. I have okay. that game. It ends up it's exactly the same as the NES version, which I had already streamed and beaten, so I just skipped it. Okay. So then you didn't I was count like, that well, as a beat, did you? I, I marked it off as beat my backlog, but it doesn't count in the 52 because that would yeah, be cheating. That's what, that's what I meant. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then I was like, oh, well, then how about we try DuckTales 1 or DuckTales 2 for the Game Boy? They're both also the exact same. There's like slight differences in the stage. That's about it. I feel like a lot of Game Boy games were basically yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. So Darkwing Duck surprised me because it says a completely different company made the game on the actual game itself. Maybe they just did the port. You know what I mean? But they're not in the credits for the game. The original developer, you mean? No. Uh, so here's the thing: <clears throat> the the cartridge for Darkwing Duck on the Game Boy says Sunsoft, but the okay. uh, the NES one was done by Capcom. I popped the Darkwing Duck for Game Boy in the Game Boy Player. It said Capcom. 
I guess Sunsoft might have done the port or published it. Yeah, that's what I said. Is maybe they just ported it. But there's but there's no mention of them in the game itself. Maybe Capcom's just an asshole. Probably. Well, yeah, that's been proven a few times for sure. So yeah, uh, so after we tried all those and found out they were the same, uh, we ended up playing Marble Madness for the NES. Oh man. All right. Yeah, I I was not able to beat this one. I got to the final stage. I could see the exit, but the final portion of the game is really difficult. Yeah. You have you, you have a maze that keeps appearing and disappearing and if you're on one of the disappearing parts, you fall to the ground, your marble shatters and it takes like 3 or 4 seconds to burn. And the idea is that you have to carry your time from the start of the game all the way to the end, so you have to be going fast all the time. Yeah. I remember so, that game being annoying to me as a kid. Yeah. I well, I've definitely gotten better now than I was a, as a kid, but I'm sure <laughs> couldn't finish it. Yeah. So I might try it again in another stream, but got real close. Cool. Uh, so instead, we ended up playing Jaws for the NES, which oh no, okay. We, we did end up beating. We did end up beating it, but okay. uh, was quite an experience because I did not realize that's essentially the worst part of an RPG: grinding. Yeah, and random encounters. That's what that game is. Yeah, that's Only the one where he... always Jaws. No, okay, it can be. Yeah, that's the one where you're going to different, like you're in your boat, choosing where to go, like fish and stuff, right? Not quite. Like you move around the map. There's two harbors you can move between. Yeah. The idea is you need to collect seashells and go to yeah. each harbor to either power up your, your your attack or like get the Jaws radar. But the problem is, randomly, when you're moving around the map, you'll you'll hit something, right? And then you'll have to end up like swim around and fight jellyfish and manta ray or Jaws himself. Sure. Okay. What a so good the game. idea is that Jaws has a health meter, and you need to damage him enough to kill him. But you need to power up yourself enough to do it because he heals. He only stays attacking you for a set amount of time, but it's like four minutes, three minutes. And if he you don't do enough survive. damage to him. Yeah, but if you don't do enough damage to him, he heals up, like, half the damage you took, and then you just go back on your way. So randomly, you'll either get attacked by Jaws, or you just, you'll hit something. And that's what takes the most time, is just getting in random encounters that just take, like, three minutes to clear. Okay. And if you if you lose a life, you lose one power level, and you lose half your seashells, which is your currency for upgrading. And you also lose, because you also have to get the uh, the radar first, so that basically means you have to make two extra trips now to get back to where you were in the first place, which can take forever. So it just took a while to do, and then we got the final portion is after you've finally taken down his health, you have the part where he like he's swimming towards the boat, and then you have to stab the boat into his stomach. I mean, that makes which, sense. Yeah, which is really clunky, but oh. when it works, it works. Like, we stabbed... it. We were playing the game for probably an hour and a half trying to do it. But we finally you pulled beat, it off. Right? Yeah, yeah you did we, we stabbed that shark with that boat. He died, and then we got in a plane and left. As we should have done in the first place. Yeah, really. Yeah, so that's all I played this week. That was a lot of games for me. That's job, a lot Brody. of games for all three of us in a week, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what have you been playing? I've, uh... Sorry. I've uh, been playing Rock Band 4 because I ordered the cymbal expansion for my drums. Yeah, you streamed some um, actually on this channel. Yeah, I did. Uh, I didn't know how easy it was to just add on those cymbals, but I, I was watching um, some people play Rock Band online a few weeks ago, and it just looked so fun having the cymbals, and they're 30 bucks. Oh. So, like, why not? Yeah. yeah. That's just a no-brainer. Um... So, have you guys ever played, the, like, pro drums? No. So, the, the way they change it is uh, the tracks that come towards you, you know, you have your four buttons for the drums. Sometimes, instead of being, like, little rectangles, they'll be, like, a symbol shape. So, you know, more roundish, uh -huh. like a point, kind of. And then that's the that that's to tell you, oh, I'm not hitting the yellow pad. I'm hitting the yellow symbol. Oh, so, weird. Pretty easy. Every single song has a pro drum mode. So, it's almost kind of like a second instrument. And, like, if you have Rock Band 4, or and 3, they had cymbals for 3 as well, I I understand. Like, get the cymbals. Like, hands down, if you're interested in the drums at all, get the cymbals. It just makes it, like, twice as fun. So, that's that great. Cool. Huh. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, I tried streaming it. 
just had some like real weird issues with the Xbox One streaming function. It would constantly pop up saying like, oh, you're lagging, you're lagging. But when I go back and look at the videos, they're fine. Welcome to streaming. Sometime, <laughs> yeah, sometimes the audio just wasn't getting picked up, which was weird. <laughs> yeah, um, sounds about right. Yeah. But normally streaming is like when I'm just playing a standard game, like it's totally fine and it works pretty pretty well. This is the worst I've had th- with the Xbox. Mm. So that was kind of a hassle doing that, uh, trying to get that going. But eventually I did. And then when I was looking back at the archives, Twitch uh, silenced a lot of chunks. Yeah. Because I guess music. Yes. Which, how is that still a problem for rhythm games in 2017? What are you talking about? That's only become a recent problem. Like that, it's getting worse each year. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying is like, so just rhythm games are just they just get the short end of the stick yes yes because they're about music yes and it's not just it's not just rhythm games like you can't play the soundtrack to grand theft auto 5 yo no no it's even worse than that all my vods for fucking um life is strange nope because there's a copywritten song in there randomly it's fucking bullshit that that is (laughs) total bullshit yeah um like you know that intro song for the first episode that we were saying yeah that's really nice it really sets the mood yeah it really sets your fucking vod on mute it's it's just silence yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) but uh it's not muted while you're live right no 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 okay unless you're streaming on youtube then it'll yeah online live then they'll actually take down your stream they'll yeah they'll kick you down Great, that's cool. That's why, that's why barely anyone streams on YouTube. Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't have the option to anyways. Uh, the right. Xbox only does Twitch. But. Hitbox.tv. <laughs> is that still around? Hitbox. I'm going to check it. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, uh, Rock Band 4, you know, still good. Get those symbols if you have any interest in drums. They're, they're a total blast. Um, what else did I play? Oh, um... I finally started up Ace Attorney 5. Okay. Or Nice. Well, Dual Destinies, whichever one that is. Is it 5? Yes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, on, on, the, on my iPhone, it looks great. Like, it looks so nice. Um, I kind of miss the hand-drawn. Like, I remember when Professor Layton also switched to polygonal. It's just a different art style. And I just, I really liked how the hand-drawn stuff looked. So, you know, I'll, I'll get used to it. I have to get used to it. This one's annoying on the iPhone because it's only landscape, which I'm not a huge fan of playing landscape games on my phone, especially uh, since I basically only play this on the train. And it's a lot easier to, like, nap, move my finger or my thumb around the screen if I'm playing portrait. And all the other Ace Attorney games were uh, portrait. Uh, to make things worse... I now have to play with headphones in at all times because there's actual cutscenes in this game uh, that are have no subtitles or text. Like they're it's voiced. They don't, they don't have subtitles. That's weird because I feel like the 3DS is, has subtitles. It for most of the game, but there's actual <laughs> cutscenes that are no, um, no. I think I believe even the actual cutscenes have subtitles. Uh, I can't find that doesn't on the iOS one. I can't find it. Weird. And the, there's right. very little in the options menu. Um, so that's a huge bummer because, like I said, it's only like maybe five percent of the game are these cutscenes, but I don't want to miss out when they happen because they're usually pretty important. Uh, so I would hate for it to be like, "Oh crap, something's happening! Got to get my f- headphones on, pause the game." But anyway, I put about two or three hours in. I just finished the first case, so the uh, tutorial case. Have you played this one, John? Uh, a bit of it. I'm on case two in that one. Okay, so I'm, I'm I'll probably pass you this week. Easily, easily. Um, and then hope, hopefully 6 eventually comes on uh, iOS. That'd be nice. I like playing these on my phone more than my more than my 3DS for sure. So I know they just put uh, Apollo Justice a few weeks ago. Uh, but yeah. So anyways, that's, I'm playing that. I'll probably be playing that for the next couple months until I finish it. But yep, that's all I've been playing. Nice. Cool. All right, let's move on. move on to the news then. News, news indeed. Um, okay, uh, we got a bunch more info that popped up about the Switch. Oh, goody. I'll just run through some of these. Uh, we were curious about that one-month game that you get with whatever subscription service they have. That game mm-hmm. uh, lasts only one month, yep. and then you don't get it anymore. Yeah. Um, smart. Bold, smart. Bold strategy. Smart. We'll see how it works out. Well, if they do something like if you buy it during the month, you get it for like a dirt cheap price. 
I don't, like, I'm, that would I'm make pretty sense. sure they've just straight up said, you get it for the month, after the month, you have to buy the game. So here's the thing, like, other people are being asked about it and they're not saying anything, so, like, no one fucking knows. Like, there's the bits and pieces, like, I heard that same thing. But then someone else also said, like, yeah, we don't have anything to say at this time, so... Mm. Hopefully they'll change their mind on that? Um, I'm not at holding the moment, my this breath. This is just kind of the worst of all the uh, services from the three companies, but who knows how much they'll charge for this if it's, you know... Yeah. And, and at least they're adding month. the on... Like, like, at least the game gets online multiplayer, too, which is... yeah. And then so I can use my smartphone to talk to people, which is awesome. Yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> that's Yeah, so no voice chat. You have to use your smartphone to invite people to games and to chat with them, um, which is actual, like, that's totally crazy. And their justification <laughs> for it was, oh, we didn't want people to have, like, bulky headsets. So, yeah, yeah, instead of having the headset, and I saw a really great comparison. It was, do you remember the little headset that came with the PlayStation 4? Yeah. Yeah, I it have it. That. It was mm-hmm. like, all right, here's PlayStation's option. Here's uh, Nintendo's. It's a $700 iPhone with the <laughs> headphones that come with that. Or this crappy little one with the PlayStation 4. Good thing Nintendo uh, is going with the easier route. Okay. Not. Yeah, bringing so, that up. I, what? How is that going to work for, like, a kid that wants to play Splatoon with his friend, but his parents won't buy him a six or $700 smartphone because... He's like fucking ten, dude. And you're, I think he's you, just screwed. Or I think, he'll do what I think most you're too people old. do and just kids, fucking use Skype. All or Discord. kids have iPhones right. now. So like, I thought about it. I'm like, man, that is really dumb. I'm like, wait a minute. I wouldn't even use it in the first place. I would actually just use Skype or Discord. But still on a different device, right? Yeah, it's still on a different device. So mm-hmm. like, I like, I for me, I'm not the case that would actually have right. this issue. The only the only reason I can think of why they did that was just like oh yeah when you're like moving around portable like just use your phone or talk to them in person or whatever. Sure, but it is still kind of dumb. They, they they couldn't figure it out or they didn't want to put the time into building their own. I'm like, betting they didn't want to put services. the time into it. I'm a hundred percent betting they just didn't want to. Because like time Nintendo's into already it. pretty bad at the internet, so they were just like I don't know Skype's already figured it out. Let's just go with that. Um. Anyway, this is crazy. This is hilarious. Uh, Still getting a day one. Did yeah, you, pre- so you get a pre-order? Get a pre-order right? I managed to. So nice. the next morning, they all came up at 7 a.m. Uh, I had Best Buy, EB Games, and Amazon all open to pre-order. Uh, got one for Best Buy. Got it in my, in my uh, checkout. I got through PayPal to pay for it. Typed in my like Best Buy reward zone code hit, like, finish transaction. It's like, oh, no, we sold out. Sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have been greedy for those reward points. I guess, yeah. I haven't hubris. Been rewards and points. Well, you'd think they would have fucking, since they already took my PayPal money, they would have, like... Held it? Worked. For two Held seconds? It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they, didn't, they don't take your money until everything is done. Yeah, but, but like, they, are, like, they like logged me through the PayPal and shit. So, held, like, right? Yeah, you'd think. Like, make it, like, ticket sales, where it's like, this is a timed thing. It, it's going to expire after five minutes. Hurry up and do your credit card info. Yeah, so I was like, okay, crap. I was also on EB Games site, but their site kept crashing. And because it kept crashing whenever I put it in my cart, I couldn't pre-order it until they were all gone. So on Amazon, I was like, all right, I'll pre-order through them. You needed Prime to do a pre-order. That's so I'm like, super weird. Yeah, I don't know why, but like, they didn't have the huh. neon one. They only had the, the gray one, and you had to have Prime to do the pre-order. So I signed up have- for a trial of... I don't, but I do now, because I signed up for the trial to do it. <laughs> nice. And by the time I got through the, the trial, it was like, yeah, no, we already sold out. Great. That's awesome. <laughs> so I've got a trial of Amazon Prime running right now, and I have nothing to use it on. Yo, who are you going to use that free really subscription like on, though? That's what the people want to know. <laughs> there you go. Just I'm... go to a random channel and go subscribe. Who fucking cares? <laughs> like... I should do that. I could also be a dick and just give it to myself, but I think it'd be funnier <laughs> if I just picked a random person and was just like, you! <laughs> Proton um, John is so I, mean, I like. I like. Wait a minute, what? I really like Prime, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think I can do that because my account is already subscribed to me. I would have to make a fake account have to, make to do that. to make a new account, yeah. I was yeah. just thinking about that. I was trying to get the ugly colors on Amazon just because I like Amazon more than Best Buy. I didn't see them ever go up. Maybe I just totally missed it. I, I, I remember that there was an announcement was, like yesterday or something about them going up. So, 
Oh, okay. Well, I'm talking like a week ago. So maybe yeah, I know a week ago. I didn't see anything either. Yeah. But eventually I just stopped looking because I was like, whatever, I have it on Best Buy. Like who even cares? So, you know, that'll show up sooner or later. Uh, other little bits of news. No Miiverse or Street Pass on the Switch. Cool. I'm okay with that. Kind of makes sense with Street Pass. Yeah. Because uh, that thing's battery life is already <laughs> garbage. Mm. Um, the one bad thing about No Miiverse is uh, that Twitter account Bad Miiverse posts is hilarious. Oh. Yeah. And that's That'll be going away. I that's too bad. That, yeah. The person running it even said, if there's no Miiverse when the Switch comes out, I'm just going to stop the account. It's, oh, man. This has been fun. It's always the little um, people that get hurt. It's always the little people. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kotaku asked a bunch of questions. I'm just going to try and skim through this a little bit. Uh, will it be backwards compatible? No. That makes sense. Wait, it has why did they even bother there? asking that? Yeah, really. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think that's a bad question to ask. Isn't it? Because it it's not the same discs? media. Yeah, like at all. Yeah, they're completely different cartridge shapes. I got that. It's like it's. It seems obvious. I just. I just. I don't know. I don't think that's a bad question to ask. Like, just get the answer. Whatever. Anyway, um, will it connect to existing uh, Wii U and 3DS accounts? Nothing to announce at this time. Is it compatible with existing virtual console purchases? Nothing to announce at this time. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Just yeah. nothing to announce. I mean, probably whatever. not, because Nintendo has already fucked that one up, like, over and over and over again. I swear to God, if uh -huh. I have to buy the Mega Man games again, I will, but I'm not going to be very happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, the point is, don't. Like, you gotta not buy them again. I have to have them on everything I play games on. <laughs> Um, will the Switch have its own library of virtual console games that starts from scratch, or will it bring over virtual console library from the 3DS and Wii U? Nothing to announce. How's Great interview. Net? Yeah, I'm going to go to some of the ones where Nintendo was actually answering. Okay, stuff. thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, for those concerned about the 32 gigabytes of storage, how will that work for playing downloadable games, and how will it work for DLC and patches? Uh, they basically say, yeah, uh, they can. It, uh, mini SD cards up to two terabytes is usable. Yep. We already knew that. Ah, damn. No games are being bundled with the Switch, which we also. I'm pretty sure yep. we knew. Or, uh, John, did, did, I thought you mentioned 1 2 Switch might have been getting bundled. No, honestly. no, no. I said it wasn't getting bundled. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's not. I said it's. It, yeah, I think one of us said it seems like it should be bundled. I'm like, maybe they'll surprise us with that, but I highly doubt it. Might be like a retail specific thing that a company might do, but yeah. Tar Target might do that. Target likes to do stuff like that. Or Toys R Us. Makes sense to me. It seems to be the thing that, like, you know, shows that gimmick off. So <laughs> why not? So, yeah, so capture budget. Is... Oh, go ahead. I was say, no, it, it's sort of semi-related. Uh, someone pointed this out to me. I ordered the uh, the neon blue and red Joy Cons, like the the controller separate. I forget who pointed this out, but they're the opposites of what comes with the neon blue and red console. Ah, oh, so, so we know that you're just a, like a poser. Yeah, yeah. so like I, ca I can't possibly get the opposite ones to make a matching blue or matching red set without having gotten that console or buying the two complete packs of blue and red. You could you could switch them like you could should you could find a little kid that has a switch and switch them and I bet he won't notice. True. That'd be pretty mean. Yep. Um, the capture button will only take screenshots and then you can add like text and colors and positions to it. Uh, they're okay. gonna add video in the future. Twitter? Is that for Twitter? I guess. Yeah, you can yeah, post I'm on sure. social media. Yep. Yeah. And then add the ability to capture or record video in the future. Um, will the Switch support Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, HBO, Go, or any other streaming services? Nintendo says all of our efforts have gone towards making the Nintendo Switch system an amazing dedicated video game platform, so it will not support any video streaming services at launch. However, the support for video streaming services is being considered for a future update. I mean, they should just do that. Why not? But sure. Okay. Yeah, the Wii was one of the more popular Netflix consoles. For a long time. 
Uh, will <clears throat> will online stores be region free or just cartridges? Nintendo responds, the Nintendo Switch system is not region locked, but we recommend that players buy games within their region to ensure full service and support. The user will access the Nintendo eShop that corresponds to the country identified right. in their Nintendo account. Up to eight user accounts can be created on a sing- single Nintendo Switch system. So I think it's going to be the same way as like the, the Xbox and PlayStation has if you right. want to get access to those uh, foreign games, you got to make us like a Japanese account. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But at least the uh, system lets you do that. So that, yeah. That. Hopefully you can then share because like I know on my Xbox I have my Japanese account and my Amer- I had my, my American account and then when I bought games through those my Canadian main account could play them. Hopefully yeah. this is the same case. Hopefully I don't. I'm not holding my breath on that, but hopefully. I don't know uh, if the that, Wii U did that. Come to, come to think of it. Did the Wii U do that? I don't know. I I don't know anyone who had two separate accounts on their... On the Could you even have multiple accounts or just like a different me? You, different me's you could assign Nintendo Network accounts to. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea. I never tried making any other account on my Wii U. Uh, that's the full articles on Kotaku. People want to... But, it, you know, that was most of the news from that one. Right. Uh, last little bit of Nintendo Switch or Nintendo news. Breath of the Wild is going to be the last first party Wii U game makes sense sure what a shocker yep 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 uh here's something kind of interesting freestyle games was just picked up uh by ubisoft freestyle games they did the dj hero series and guitar hero live um so activision doesn't have access to them anymore i don't think they took the the franchises there's no way no, I, I mean the developer i meant the developer I know they right. wouldn't give up Guitar Hero. Um, which is weird. I thought Guitar Hero Live was good. I thought it was like a, a like a really good Guitar Hero game. And I love DJ Hero. Sold. Apparently it didn't sell very well. Yeah. yeah I, I don't... No one's talking about Guitar Hero But then Live, again, neither, sure. neither did Rock Band 4, apparently. Accurate. Um, I don't know. The, I like the the games that those develop... Blah, 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 blah. I like the games that developer has made. Hopefully they do some cool stuff at Ubisoft. Um... I guess that's just another nail in the coffin for Activision rhythm games, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my DJ Hero 3? <laughs> Never come Well, it's definitely not going to happen now, unless another company does it. Yeah. Well, I mean, Ac- Activision, you know, tons of developers have worked on Guitar Hero, right? So. Yeah, I guess you're three at this point. Oh, probably four, the you're... best news this week. <laughs> Swery is back in game development with his own independent studio. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, called White Owls Incorporated. Uh, if anyone sure. played D four, lots of White Owl imagery. So, kind of, kind of makes sense. Uh, there's a big log interview on Giant Bomb. If people want to kind of see where his head's at, but he basically said uh, when he went on medical leave, he really liked the freedom of it. And he just had like got super creative during that, so he wants to uh, kind of continue and, and roll with that. Um, they asked him one question specifically. I want to pull out. Let me. Uh, here we go. Jai Mom asked, uh, "What's the vision for this studio? What kind of games are you looking to create?" And Sori responded with, "White Owl is a completely independent studio without any capital. Therefore, we can freely create as we wish." We want to make games for all the people who are cheering us on. That means they'll be bizarre, horrific, and filled with laughter, tears, and swearisms. Okay. Uh, all I can say is bring it on. That sounds great. I'm stoked. Swearisms? <laughs> what? Hey, whatever, man. Uh, Sweary is awesome. And his games are great. So, Are anyway, they? Uh they're yeah. fine, they're, but they, are they they're great? Enjoyable. They're enjoyable. They're an experience. Can you you can't tell me that a, a sweary game's not an experience? It's an experience, but they're usually broken pieces of shit to play. I don't know if I'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I don't. I don't think so. I think there's like a there's I purpose never, behind how was how D4 they four gameplay control? wise. How was D four gameplay wise? Gameplay wise, I would not say it's broken. Fine. I would say it's like it's yeah, it's like comfortably clunky. Like it's there's a it's like it, it's you know, dead, dead rising. rising four has a yeah, yeah it's to it. dead rising. <laughs> um, 
But like D4 is just like sweary all over the place. And, and I never played Spy Fiction his first game, but like I never played that, that one either, good? to be fair. I played a little bit of that one. That's probably like the least sweary out of the ones I've played. It's it's like the it's trying to just be like a you know a Metal Gear Solid ripoff. Yeah, yeah. Um so that that's I would not say that's the best one to start with. D4 is probably if you want to see like unchanged sweary, check out some D4. Um, D4 has got some weird shit in it. But I think what's interesting is almost, you know, all of his you know, main games, you remember them. Like they You remember with parts you. of them for sure. The names stick with you. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I, I there's a lot of things from Deadly Premonition I remember for sure. Sure. <clears throat> so, I don't know. They're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. I'm I'm big into Swery's games, so I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to see what he does what yep. they do yeah and yeah. john if you haven't played d4 i would i would recommend giving it a chance the game's like two hours long maybe i i mean i have it on xbox one so yeah play yeah. that thing with the connect because that's weird that's a weird thing to do <laughs> it's a weird thing to do you could do that uh, yeah you he you get to pick up an imaginary shot glass and slam it down because the guy in the game does that <laughs> yeah right i forgot about that yeah um Okay, that's uh, that's it for news. You're not going to talk about Let's Fire Emblem bit. at all, huh? Oh, yeah, I totally you forgot about that. Fire Emblem Direct. <laughs> oh right. Uh, I, yeah, I, I totally did forget about that. Long story short, there's like a thousand Fire Emblem games coming, so get there's get four. ready. There's hold four. on to your butts. They announced Fire Emblem, uh, a remake of Fire Emblem Gaiden, which is the second Fire Emblem called uh, Fire Emblem Echoes. I think is the name yeah, it's got. Echoes. Yep. That's gonna be on 3DS. They set a release date too, didn't they? May something in May. Okay. Um, they announced uh, Fire Emblem Warriors is going to be coming out in the fall on both the Switch and the 3DS. Only so new 3DSs. Yeah. So basically, or they Fire... specifically said the new 3DSs. So, so it's basically going to be the exact same as uh, Hyrule Warrior Legends was. It's like only going to be usable on the new because it was it apparently ran like garbage on the regular 3DS. Yep. Uh, they also announced that there is a new Fire oh, no, I'm Emblem. pretty sure it probably ran like garbage on every platform. Look, just because you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they also announced a brand new Fire Emblem main series game being developed for the Switch. It'll probably be out in 2018. There's that's yeah, they all the game like on that's it. That's coming in the future. Yeah. And they uh, finally put some details on the Fire Emblem game coming out for mobile phones, Fire Emblem Heroes. They probably spent most of their time talking about this one. Which makes sense, because it's out in less than a month. <laughs> for you guys. It's yeah, out in so two Android, weeks. That's it. Yeah. February 2nd for Android users. iOS has to wait till an unspecified date, although apparently in Japan it is out simultaneously for iOS. So that might change worldwide. Who knows? It must just be a weird certification thing through the U.S. I, uh, you know, uh, App Store. It, I saw some people say that apparently they can just they can fine tune it easier on Android than they can on iOS. And apparently in Japan, if you don't release it on iOS, it's basically dead. Android's just not big in Japan. Okay, I can see that. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the games held up by uh, DNA, the guys who did Record Keeper, and I guess in this case, Mitomo. Uh, it it is a it's a gotcha style Fire Emblem game where like you get random characters and depending on like their star ranking and stuff like that you can change their stats and you can upgrade them. Can you uh, feed them to each other? I'd probably that'd be weird, but that's probably what you can do. Okay. It'll probably be like sacrificial stone or some special ability so, like that. I'm just gonna jump in and say Nintendo of America tweeted. On January 18th here, Fire Emblem Heroes will be released on iOS and Android on February 2nd. Oh, oh so wow. it's actually okay. simultaneous. Okay. So, oh, so you guys had a brief moment of being better, but not anymore. <laughs> well, a we have Androids. We, we, have, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of time of being superior. It's fine. We're just used to it. Yeah. Uh, it looked like all the missions you went on, you had you could bring four characters. They could be from anywhere in the Fire Emblem series, any of the games. As, well, uh, as long as you've like randomly summoned them, right? Yeah. If you you can also yeah you can do missions which gets them on your side as well, or you can get them through the gotcha style like whatever summoning stone or whatever the hell it is. In this yeah, that's game. where the so it's a free game. That's where the microtransaction comes in. You get 
like summoning orbs or something like this and you get them through playing but you can also purchase them and then okay there's like a random chance it's like oh i, I want someone who uses swords and then you'll get a sword user and hopefully it's the one you want seems yeah. there's four di- there's there was four different types of characters there was you know like sword uh lance axe and bow um but you know sword also covered like fire uh or not not fire what is the magic types there's the thunder one there's wind is oh there's a fire is there a blizzard or is it dark i don't know anyways there's four different types and each type had like three different types of characters within it and you get your random fighter that way yeah and it works on like some other mobile <laughs> games where like you can get like either a three star version of that character or a five star et cetera, et cetera. Higher stars, better growth, but you can eventually upgrade them and long, like if you keep playing long enough to get them up to five star rankings. Uh, I I didn't watch the direct, or I tuned in late, so I missed a bunch of stuff. But did they show like if you could play against other humans? I forget if that was a thing. Uh, I don't think they mentioned anything about that. Okay, but yeah, the, it's the battles are uh, by all eight by six grid. Mm, which is so small real stages, small, yeah. Yeah, really small stages. Uh, it seems like it's just Fire Emblem, though, but I don't know. I Part part of Fire Emblem's appeal to me is having these, like, big battles where you need to, like, strategically move your way through the environment. But you also got to keep in mind, it's a game on your phone. You might only want to play for a couple minutes. I, see, I, I, even then, like, on, the, on my DS, they had a suspend feature, like... I'm fine with them just having, like, allow me to suspend my match. And even if it's an issue of, like, how much I can see, like, just let me zoom in, you know, pinch to zoom in, move them where I need to. But, I don't know, I, I'll res- reserve my judgment until then. Maybe 8x6 is enough. Yeah, I'm curious to how it's going to be. It looks like it'd be fun. I mean, it's free, so why not? That's it, yeah. yeah. It looks like it's going to take up a lot of space on your phone. I mean, it's a Nintendo uh, thing, of and- course it will. Yeah. It's another always online game too, but it actually makes more sense in this case. Is it really? It, yeah, it's the same as Record Keeper. Record Keeper was another always online game. Oh, great. So, but it makes way more sense in this because all the data is on the server since you're rolling for random characters and stuff like that. One thing I, I don't seem to recall, is there a story mode to this? I The part of the direct I saw didn't mention it. Yeah, I don't think it mentioned it either. So I'm, I'm wondering like, is... Is your entire goal just like collect stronger and more fighters, or is there actually like a, something I can do? Because uh, if it's just the collecting aspect, like I'm not that interested. But again, I guess we'll see in about two weeks. Yeah, that that direct was a uh, um really short. It was like twenty minutes long. Okay, that's it for news, right? Yes. Okay. Questions. John, where can people send questions in? Top 10 Perspective at gmail.com, TTP Podcast on Twitter, Top 10 Perspective on Facebook, and my P.O. Box, which I haven't checked in a week or two, so I should probably get on that. I mean, you've been sick and gone, so yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, I'll take the first question here. Andrew wrote in and said, while playing Kirby Planet Robobot, I got to a certain scene towards the end of the game. I'm keeping it vague for people who haven't played the game. The scene is just too good. All all I'll say is Halberd. After seeing it, my jaw dropped. I found it so amazing. So my question for you today, when was the last time you, a game surprised you so much with a scene or moment that it left you speechless? Uh, Bayonetta. Bayonetta is really good, yeah. Yeah, first one. That was a while ago. I was going to say Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2. I didn't play it. Yeah. Man. It has a few moments like that. and I don't know if that yeah, left me really speechless, did. though. It was more like a fuck yeah sort of moment. I think mine's the same, too. But then again, I don't think any moment from a game has left me speechless. So, like, that just seems a bit extreme. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there's something I can't think of. Like Azura's Wrath, probably. The standard yeah, like answers of like Shadow of the Colossus ending is really dope when like you become the thing. 
that you're just kind of like, this is weird and awesome. Um, right. Anytime a main character just gets, like, offed, it's kind of like, whoa. I don't know. There's spoilers, a bunch... careful with the spoilers. Mm -hmm. I was going to specifically say Eris from uh, Final Fantasy VII, because why not? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah. spoilers. Strong spoilers. Yeah. Couple people, couple people mentioned Undertale. Oh, you know I, what? I enjoyed Undertale, <laughs> but I don't know if I'd call that as like a jaw dropping. No, I for just me, really like the way things went. It was just an enjoyable story for me. Totally. The um. Although I guess I kind of liked the the way the the dark ending of that game went. The yeah, the genocide right. ending. That ending is really good. The true pacifist ending is very good and that song at the end when you're doing the final battle and that battle in general is very good i'm yeah, gonna say undertale I, i'd say i'd say bandit was way more jaw dropping than uh than that though all right i got this next one charles says i've been playing video games for a long time i'm 35 going on 36 in a few weeks and i've been playing as far back as i can remember but not a lot of people my age or at least people my age I know personally, do play games. Do you think playing video games is something some people grow out of or just lose interest in? I've never felt confident in saying yes to this because of games like Candy Crush and Pokemon Go causing them to have regained their interest, albeit only for a brief period. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah. Are games just something you grow out of? You grow out of everything eventually. Yeah. There, some things don't, some things do. That's just the fact of life. The average age of a game... Sometimes gamer, eventually you get tired of breathing air. Just grow out of that. Yeah, Trust exactly. me, I know. I know. Uh, like, the average age of a gamer is in the 30s. So, oh, it's it? not okay. like... Yeah, it's not like he's out of this range. There are plenty of gamers in their 30s and above that play. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to go I, up, right? Obviously. Yeah, like, the article I'm looking at right now is hmm. three years old, and it says the average age is 31. Okay. Sure. Okay. So, that's also probably not counting the mobile market where it is now and stuff like that. That's so also sure not counting higher. the giant wave that the Switch is going to bring in. Yeah. But yeah, like everyone eventually might just fall out of liking something. It's just <clears throat> a part of life. So it just happens for some people with games. And you might not. Like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you grew out of something else, right? Pe people grow out of things. Uh, I'm curious, you guys here, uh, did you have a lot of friends going through school that stopped playing games yeah because i know i definitely did like after hitting college a ton of my friends stopped playing games i just uh, yeah then you just have to it's because in different times of your life you have to reprioritize so i didn't hang out with a lot yeah. of people that played games in school okay it, it was still yeah. kind of like a gross nerd thing to do like there was a few of us but we didn't really talk about like gaming and stuff so whereas i hit college and doubled down on games well yeah college is a different time though but yeah and like and he does mention the like casual game stuff uh so like everyone plays video games nowadays sure so yeah. like doesn't even matter <laughs> everyone sure. plays something on their phone for sure all right john you got this last one sure this one comes to us from Bob. It's four questions. Uh, favorite crazy old man in a video game? Damn, that's a good question. Mm. Crazy old man. Crazy old man. Cranky Kong? I, is Cranky's kind of, good. Cranky Kong is pretty up there, yeah. Yeah. Some game I played recently where like there was like a weird old man, but he was like a really good character. I can't remember what the hell it was. Tortimer is pretty good. Crazy old oh, man. Damn it. I thought I remembered some weird sound effect it made, but then I realized that was still Cranky Kong. So, uh, some from the chat: uh, Abe Simpson and the Grave Digger from God of War One. I. I don't remember who that is. <laughs> okay, the Grave Digger from God of War One. Wow. Torbjorn. Torbjorn's, Torbjorn's pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> Isn't he only like in his forties? I don't so. know. He's an old man. <clears throat> the oh, judge 50, from Ace 57. Attorney. Good answer. That is a good answer. Good answer. Uh, fifty-seven. That's an old man, 57. isn't it? What's an old? What do we consider an old man? I think it just depends on how old you are. The person asking the question. Okay. 
All right, oh, someone question. also mentions the crazy old lady, uh, old bag from Ace Attorney. Another good answer. Mm. Second question: favorite Easter egg in a video game? The dog ending in Silent Hill 2. Oh, and the UFO ending in Silent Hill 3. Being able to wait out the end's death because he's an old man. <laughs> yeah, it's another good old man. Good um, I always really liked uh, finding the hatch in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lost hatch. Yeah, the lost yeah. hatch. That's really good. That was really good. You're right. That's probably my favorite one. That's I, I'll never forget that one. Third question is for me. John, have you ever been involved in a screeching before? No, I have not. What is that? That is to make someone an honorary Newfie for someone from Newfoundland. That involves... There's a couple different things you can do. Is this uh, an actual thing or is this a streaming thing? This is an actual thing. <laughs> this is a thing for, for Newfoundland. Uh, okay. There's a number of different ways of doing it. You have to do two things out of a list. Uh, the most common ones are drink a bottle of Newfie Screech, which is just really hard alcohol, and kiss a cod. Yeah. Those are the two most common ones. Like, you need to kiss, you need to make someone kiss a cod, and then there are The person who wants Newfoundland. to become an honorary Newfoundlander has to do those two things. Okay. Do they have to do it with a Newfoundlander? Like, yes. You have to be, a, uh, you have to be there to witness it? Yes. He's so got to be there to supervise. Yes, I am by proxy allowed to do that and make them an honorary Newfoundlander. It's like knighting Even somebody. Have... Yes, is it, is it but... one or the other, or do you have to do both? You have to do both. You have to do two things on the list. Okay. Could and you, list... like, does the cod have to be alive? Uh, I don't think it has to, I asked because could you fill the cod with the alcohol so that you kill That's... two birds Oh, man, this is a good idea. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, the drink the alcohol, so you'd be yeah. drinking the the alcohol out of the fish's mouth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which that would be that would be pretty badass actually if you'd pull that off. I think that might, that's a maybe. That's a maybe. Okay. Probably okay. I feel like there's got to be a pub somewhere on the East Coast where you can like order that. Like they'll do that. I'm sure. Oh yeah, there's if you're in Newfoundland itself, like people will be willing to do that for you no problem. Okay. I've never heard of that. I'm surprised I've never heard of that. Uh, and last on the list, how old were you when you learned Santa wasn't what he claimed to be? What he claimed to be? <laughs> That's really good. I like um, how that implies no that Santa people. was telling you personally what he was. Yeah, no, for sure. Hey, kid, I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> Come sit on my <laughs> lap. Yeah. Oh God. Probably like six or seven. Yeah. Pro hmm. I was kind of a stupid kid. I don't know. There's there's definitely a difference. My between, parents like, were bad I... at hiding stuff. That's the problem. <laughs> See, mine okay. were good. And there's definitely a difference between like I realized it compared to like when one of my parents basically like officially said, Hey, here's the deal. <clears throat> Cause the parent one would have been somewhere around nine or ten, I think. I think seven to eight is probably reasonable. For most people. Yeah. yeah. That's what you were? No, I'm saying that's probably reasonable. I was a oh, stupid okay. kid, so maybe eight to nine. You, like, you're talking like last month you figured it out? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this recent Christmas. This email. This email yeah. ruined it. Wait. <laughs> Paul's sitting there being like, what the hell are they talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Santa visited me just a couple months ago. Idiots. He went to the mall and sat on his lap like yeah. five weeks ago. Listen, to these fucking idiots didn't even see Santa Claus on Christmas last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if people want to send in questions for next week, top down perspective at gmail.com, at TDP podcast on Twitter, Facebook group, Discord, John's P.O. Box. What's your guys' games of the week? Wild Guns Reloaded. Tetris. <laughs> Good choice. It's a good Tetris. game. Yeah. It's a good ass game. Tetris um, is good. Uh probably Rock Band 4. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Uh that'll do it. Thanks everyone. See you guys uh next week. Bye everybody. Bye.